contemplate the uh, demolition, plot, and collect of the city's historical uh, districts? I, I, you know, I've been involved in a lot of projects in the downtown, and I've seen some of those uh, buildings that you're talking about. Um, I, I think we ought to search for uh, people that you know that have the ability to uh, rehabilitate rehabilitate those buildings. The uh, a, a lot of them look a lot worse than they are. I was involved in one that had to be torn down because it was just too far gone to, to save, and it's, uh, it's heartbreaking when you have to do that. Um, I think the answer is to, to get private money involved in the rehabilitation. Uh, Mr. Wheeler, for the question. Uh, demolition by neglect of the historical district. Uh, what do you think we should do about it? Buildings become functionally obsolete. No secret. Economies change. Uh, the owner can't demolish the building, and he should be given incentives to do so. Lowers property taxes. Find out if his uh, properties on either side can help donate or work with and improve. Mr. Yes? Well, Balbasta has some beautiful beautiful historic homes and businesses and buildings in this city. And it is our job to protect them and uh, repair them when that is possible. It isn't always possible. Sometimes because of, uh, of legal action, uh, lack of funding on the owner's part, and uh, rules and regulations, they go both ways. Sometimes there are rules and regulations that get in the way of protecting, and sometimes they help. Um, but sometimes they have to be torn down. Um, we have worked very hard in the city of Valosta to protect our historic district and, and buildings in our historic district. But we have also worked very hard and will continue to, to uh, tear down uh, abandoned buildings and homes that are falling in and, and creating safety problems for anybody, especially children, who are around those buildings or the homeless who try to find some place to find and, and they find abandoned and torn or half torn down buildings or falling in buildings to live in. Um, and so sometimes we, we don't have a choice. They have to be torn down, but we have worked very hard to protect buildings that need to be protected and at historic value. Thank you. Uh, we'll start with Mr. 